everybody. How's it going today? Fabulous Friday. I do believe it's the last Friday of no November already. So, I had some questions on what I'm feeding my steers. There you can see our corn. Pre-bean ground. Um, some people had saw my Instagram pictures of uh, chopping hay and grinding feed, grinding corn I should say. Um, as you can see I need to grind corn which I'm going to do here in a little bit. So here we have our grown corn. Good stuff mannered. Grown right here on the farm. So we've got our grown corn. And then here we have hay. This was baled last summer. I use not that 717 chopper but the one that was sitting down there with the hay head, which yeah, maybe you can see out there. So I just park the tractor and chopper right here. I bring a round bale up, take the net wrap off, and then I use a skid steer to kind of peel it apart. And then I just fork it into the chopper. Now, <clears throat> that old chopper, the knives are bolt wore out in it. So, as you can see, it is about perfect it's not chopped really fine I mean there's a lot of finer stuff in there but there's a lot of long stuff in there and that's exactly what I want so that's what this all looks like after running through the chopper now I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest probably doing it with a chopper with new knives in there that are all set right because it'll chop it too fine But you can see there is some finer stuff in there, and then there's a lot more longer stuff. So what I do is I come in here and I grab a certain amount of corn. Um, it's kind of guessing at this point. I just come in, scoop up the amount of corn that I want, and I come over here. I grab hay, and then... I feed the cows their corn silage first because I grab a lot of the chunkier stuff that's in there. So what I do is I come in here and I get a scoop for the steers, or the calf a lot, steer a lot, and I kind of spread it out in here. And then I grab the silage for the cows, go feed that to them. And then when I come back, I grab the corn and the hay and then I dump it on top of the corn silage and I just use a skid steer to mix it all together um, and it takes probably four or five minutes to mix it all together so it doesn't take that long and you can see there's some remnants from yesterday last night feeding sitting here which I'll show you guys the feed bunk at the end here too but this is what it looks like after it's all mixed up so and I just scoop it up from here take it over and put it in the feeder so but I try to go and grab these clumps out of here that are kind of frozen and I feed that to the cows which take it over there and then get some of that crustier stuff and mix it with good stuff and the cows eat it all so yeah um, and then the cows that they just get one bucket of corn silage and one bale of hay. Um, but next year I want to start, I'd like to TMR them as well. Um, so we're, we're still searching for a TMR. I haven't found one <clears throat> that I want to buy yet. Um, I don't know. I, I'm going to try and demo a few and I'll start making some phone calls. I don't know if I want a vertical mixer or if I want a real type mixer. Um, I guess with the way we're doing it, a real type would be fine because we're not processing whole bales of hay or anything. Um, as most of you know, my round baler has the slice option, um, but I took all the knives out of it, which I just have to put new knives in it, and then it would work. I just don't know if the 6400 would have enough power to run the slicing option. So that's another reason why I'm trying to find a bigger tractor as well. But in the baler, 
there's six knives that go across every six inches or whatever it is and then right here that adjusts how aggressive your knives are how far into the bale they are so the plan is next year i'm going to slice all of our bales then i'm hoping i can skip the chopper part of it i can just bring a bale in here take the net wrap off and it theoretically should fall apart easy enough that i can just take the skid steer and break it apart so then just come in with the bucket and grab what i need um and our winter rye i don't know how much is going to grow this spring because of our late planting but there is seed all in the ground so i'm really hoping it starts to grow this spring and we can chop a bunch of it because i would like to chop that winter rye for the cows and mix it with some hay and corn silage and feed them that and then the plan is to seed down a bunch of alfalfa this year for calf and steer feed to mix with corn silage and corn for them um, but i'm not for sure what we're going to do uh the plan is obviously to finish the cows shed next year and then i'd like to pour some concrete I don't know if I'm going to set up fence line feeding through here or if I'm going to build a bottomless bunk like what Ted Kaler has where I can drive through. Um, it all kind of depends on what I find for a TMR mixer, I guess. If I don't find one that I like with the unloading apron type setup or augers to feed into a bunk, then I'm going to have to set up a fence line feeding system, which wouldn't be too difficult to do um, but our plan is I'm gonna add on the next 12 feet here to there and then build the shed on the backside and that'll be for the cows and then I'm gonna put like a 16 foot entry going in and out of here um, and then I could set up a fence line feeder but then the plan is eventually here to build another shed going this way that we can store our hay and bedding in so it's inside because I don't like tarps if you can't tell, I never, I never ever get my hay tarped. I just, I hate dealing with tarps. So our plan is to get this done for the cows this year. Um, and then I'm gonna buy the post to set for the perimeter of their cow lot, which will also be the, the west wall of this new shed that we're gonna build over there. So, um, If I go that route, it'd be nice to have the bunk on the inside. And I, I, I like I say, I'm gonna call and get some, try and set up some demos on TMR mixers to uh, kind of see. I need to talk to some guys who, you know, salesmen or whatever about TMR mixers because my goal is to get to 31 cows for right now until we get more land. And if you do the math on that. I don't really need like a 350 cubic foot, I believe. Um, I need like a 200. And even a 200 with feeding the steers and the calves in the winter, I don't know if there's going to be enough volume in there for it to mix right. Where a real mixer, doesn't really matter how much you put in there, it's going to mix no matter what. So, yeah, I need to set up some demos with that kind of thing. Um, like I say, next year, hoping to run the bale slice so the I don't have to chop the bales. But um, instead of feeding free choice hay and then corn silage mixed with corn like I have done in the past, I decided to chop two bales, and that way they can't they can't really select what they want to eat. They they eat everything, and they look a lot better already doing it that way. So I just think a mixer with a scale so I could actually measure things out would be better. Um, I've had nutritionists talk to me a few times and we're kind of, kind of have an idea on what we're doing here, but without a scale, you're, it, you're still only guessing. So um, once I get a, a mixer with a scale, then they're going to set me up a, a ration for both of them after we get all of our feed stuff made. So so yeah we're getting there slowly it takes time and money we've got a lot of time but not a lot of money so we do what we gotta do to get by for right now and hopefully next year we can 
hopefully 19 we get a bigger tractor we get a tmr mixer so this shed's gonna happen regardless i've got a lot of the steel for it already i have to buy some more tin for the roof but uh we've got the majority of it so and building doesn't take me very long and it doesn't cost very much when you do it yourself so but that's the plan anyways so i'll uh head over to the steer lot quick and show you that feed in there and you guys can be the judge of how it works kind of hard to tell by you don't know what the calves look like when i wean them you don't know what they look like now and we won't know what they look like till spring so but you can see what i've got going on there and they're uh they're doing really good on it they clean it up better um you know so i would say it's working out quite well i think if we can start mixing stuff for the cows that would be better because right now it's hard to feed everybody at the bunk when you're only feeding one bucket of corn silage and you've got 20 some cows that are trying to eat from the bunk and of course the little ones get pushed out of the way the smaller heifers do so then when you feed the bale of hay the big cows get around the bale of hay and then the heifers have a hard time getting to it so they always get second fiddle on everything so i think tmr and a bunk that everybody could fit around would be a lot better route to go with the cows um and if i'm looking at spending money to buy cheap round bale feeders i might as well build a nice bunk that is bottomless i can just pick up and move around wherever i want i can use it in here i could use it out there um so we're gonna see that's kind of the way i'm leaning towards instead of fence line feeding and of course the steers i would still end up feeding them with a the skid steer i just mix the feed dropped on the ground and put it in there with the skid steer because i don't know that a tractor and tmr mixer would get in that pen and be able to turn to get back out and anybody that feeds in a in a lot per se or a cow yard you know the cattle are always right around you when you're feeding so you know to pull in with the tmr and then back out it's hard to see behind you and running over an animal is the last thing i want to do so it's still end up feeding them with the skid steer but you got to use the skid steer anyways to fill a mixer so it wouldn't be very hard to mix it drop it on the cement and then go fill their bunk with it so anyways i'll go uh show you guys their uh feeding their bunk right now and go from there all right so here's what our feed looks like after it's all mixed up this is from yesterday last night so they've been eating it but you can see the hay you can see the corn in there you can see the corn silage So this is what my calves are getting. <clears throat> Pretty good stuff. By the time I feed this afternoon or this evening, this will be basically gone. And we'll fill it back up so they've got full feeder until tomorrow night. So so anyways, that's uh, that's what I'm feeding my calves. Um, a TMR mixer would definitely be better if the guy had a scale to uh, measure the ingredients so it's you're putting exact weights in but like I said we're uh, trying to find a TMR um, next year hopefully by this fall we have one or next fall um, because next year, like I say, we'd like to uh, start doing TMR with the cows too to try and do a mix of feed stuff that we have available. So, anyways, hope you all uh, enjoyed this video. Um, found it useful information. Maybe give you some idea on what you can do. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. We'll catch you on the next one.